Fixold Cameras produces step-by-step, close-up videos of simple, common repairs and basic maintenance on classic and vintage cameras. Your ability, the quality of your tools, and the condition of your camera will affect the success of your repair endeavor. A successful completion of the demonstrated repairs ultimately depends on your camera repair skills. Begin by removing the four screws in the bottom cover with a JIS crosspoint screwdriver. By removing the bottom cover, we will be able to check on the condition and type of the battery contact retaining screw. The battery contact retaining screw is located in the corner of the camera next to the battery chamber. The earlier models of the OM-1 used a nylon screw for the battery contact retainer. The head fatigues and breaks off. This condition causes the battery contact to lose tension and malfunction. Remove the remaining battery chamber screw, lift the battery chamber from the camera, and separate, allowing the battery chamber to be set aside. To remove the broken nylon screw, we will heat the tip of a slotted screwdriver and embed it into the plastic. Allow the tip of the screwdriver to cool in this position, then spin the broken shaft out counterclockwise. At this time, we will also take the opportunity to add a diode to the circuit. This diode will drop the 1.5 voltage of the replacement battery to the 1.35 voltage of the original battery. Direction of the cathode band depends on the polarity of the meter system. If installed incorrectly, the meter will not function. No harm done, simply flip and reinstall. Moving on with the installation of the diode, solder the meter wire and the diode together and insulate with heat shrink tubing. Take your time with the heat shrink tubing as not to overheat and break the solder connection. Trim the diode to fit and solder the diode and the battery contact together. Slip the battery contact into the battery chamber and seat into the camera. Install the battery chamber screw. Replacement nylon battery contact screw is not available. Instead, use RTV silicone sealant to hold the contact in place. Make certain that the contact is insulated on all sides by the sealant. If you fail to insulate properly, once the sealant is dry, the battery contact will short out to the body of the camera. If this happens, simply peel out the old sealant and reapply. If you have access to a tap, you can tap out the old screw hole and use an oversized nylon screw available from your local hardware store. Because of the size of the screw head, the diode is routed to the other side of the battery chamber. Thank you for watching.